And ignition. And we have liftoff of an ILS proton rocket from the Baikonur Constable in Kazakhstan with the Equistar 16 satellite on board. It can be a little difficult to see due to the fact that it's nighttime in Baikonur, but at about 10 seconds after liftoff, we'll roll mover and we'll soon experience maximum dynamic pressure, also known as max Q, and is the maximum aerodynamic load on the vehicle. And in the case of Proton, this corresponds to about Mach 1.6 and occurs about one minute and two seconds after liftoff. Everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle heads across the Cosmodrome vertically in a northeasterly direction with a flight launch azimuth of approximately 61.3 degrees. We're coming up on the first stage of separation from the second stage, and that is set to occur at two minutes into the flight. Now, watch for the halo effect as the second stage engines ignite prior to the separation from the first stage. Proton continuing to head down range for about a minute and 15 seconds after launch. Stage one appears to be operating nominally. When the vehicle arcs over like that and the engines point back toward the, uh, the observers on the ground, you can really feel it through your chest. 90 seconds after launch, everything seems to be going nominally. Continuing to head down range, you can see the tail getting growing larger and larger as, as Proton gains altitude. And you saw there, stage one burning out. And we have confirmation of stage one separation, a good separation between the first and second stages, and ignition of the second uh, stage. We do have a signal of ignition on all four second stage engines. They will burn for a total of about 3 minutes and 27 seconds.